Preparing for this hearing is one of been, has, uh, I, I'm telling you, it's hard to keep your cool in preparing for this meeting. And let me tell you the heart of why we're here today. Immigrations, immigration Customs Enforcement. I have met with the men and women who work there, the wonderful, hardworking, dedicated people who do a hard and difficult job. But I got to tell you, what's going on at Homeland Security, what's going on with Immigration Customs Enforcement is one of the most infuriating things I think I've seen in this government yet. In a three-year period, Immigrations and Customs Enforcement has released more than 86,000 criminal aliens into the, into the American public. These are people that were here illegally, got caught committing a crime, were convicted of that crime, and then instead of deporting them, they were just released back out in the United States of America. All told, they had more than 231,000 crimes that they were convicted of. 86,000 of these people. In 2015, 196 of these people were convicted of homicide, and ICE released them back into the public rather than deporting them. 124 of those that were released between fiscal year 2010 and 2015 went on to commit homicide. Let me give you some other stats. In 2013, ICE released 36,007 criminal aliens, criminal aliens, who were here, who were here unlawfully and in, in present in the United States. As of September 2014, 5,000... 700 of those individuals went on to commit additional crimes. In March of 2015, ICE Director Sarah Saldana testified before this committee that during fiscal year 2014, ICE released another 30,000 individuals with criminal convictions. In fact, ICE released 30,558 criminal aliens in 2014 who had a combined 79,059 convictions instead of deporting them. Of those 30,558 criminal aliens, 1,895 were charged with another crime following their release. Their convictions included sex offenses, assault, burglary, robbery, driving under the influence. And ICE told us that in 2015, the agency released 19,723 criminal aliens with a combined 64,197 convictions, including 934 sex offenses, 804 robberies, 216 kidnappings, and 196 homicide-related convictions. And that's on your watch. They were under, they were here illegally, they got caught committing a crime, they were convicted of the crime, and instead of following the law and deporting them, you release them back out of the public and they commit more crimes. How do you look those people in the eye? How do you go back to a family and say, you know, they were in our detention and we just thought it would be better to let them out into the United States of America? That is so wholly unacceptable. I want to show you this football stadium. This is Notre Dame football stadium. You've released more people that were convicted of crimes that should have been deported than you can fit into that stadium you'd still have people waiting outside the line. Those are the criminals that you released instead of deporting. Now, one of the people that's very passionate about this issue and spent a lot of time on that is our colleague, Mr. DeSantis of Florida. I'd like to yield time to him. 